Hey all. Last time I was in the game with Davian Time Rot, and I had an eventful Daikara run, to, so to speak. A little bit glitchy in some parts, but in others we found on the Fairy Instance, for example, uh, a new thing that I'd never seen before of any of my playthroughs. But before we get into it, I'm going to do the Temple Portal, and um, basically do that, and then we'll do the other stuff after it. Because this is usually doesn't take too long to Temple Rift. Go like this. I love how this moved me out of the way there, so I can zap them like that. And apparently, they don't take temple damage, these guys. I may have just made a big mistake here. We will see. Okay, good. My gravity spike will hurt these guys. That'll hurt them too. So I don't want to use anything that does uh, purely temporal damage like this. Or else I won't do any damage to them. So I'm going to have to use uh, more physical property stuff in here. Whoops. Hello, friend. Oop, took a hit there, but whatever. Zap. Zap. Whoa. Took a lot of damage there all of a sudden. Nice level. That's dead. Yeah, it figures. Alright, nothing down here. We'll get rid of this guy and then we'll check my level screen. Do I have enough for fixed skin yet? I should actually check that. So, for those who uh, weren't paying attention in past episodes, I haven't really been increasing my constitution at all. And I'm trying to get fixed skin, but since I don't have. Uh, you know, increased constitution, I actually have to try and bump it up with my little things here. What's this do? I might think, think I was saving that for... What was I saving this for? Get rid of that. Might have been using saving it for the strength boost, I guess, but... Don't really need strength boost as much right now for anything. That gives that. That stuff. There's some con. Put this on two. So, I'm basically trying to get my constitution up with my gear. And one of the benefits of doing this is that you can invest in stuff like this, fixed skin, which requires that you have all this gear boosting up your uh, constitution stat to get the talent. So I don't actually have to boost my constitution up to get access to this stuff like fixed skin. I can actually, um, you know, wear equipment to boost it up temporarily and then I can just take it all off. Actually, no, this is actually not one of my favorite things in a game. I really don't like it when, um, you can sort of like, you know, go into your uh, gear, so to speak. Just put on temporarily, increase your talents. And then, you know, take all the stuff off right after. I don't consider that kosher for games. Personally, I think that you should get your, um, your stats basically from base stats. Not from like, you know, base plus, uh, or, uh, not from modified stats, so to speak. Alright, I think that's all my regular gear, but let's just sort of go over it. If you look at my con now, it's like dropped down to 35. Um, I don't know why it's so high, actually. Am I still wearing something? Yep, that's still on, so we'll take that off. Put that on instead. Alright, that makes sense. 31 constitution. So, I got like, you know, a 
boost of like 11 constitution, I think it was, from all that gear. And um, that let me get thick skin. I'm not really a big fan of like, you know, this sort of thing. I prefer that you like, say you have it based off of like your base stats over here, so to speak. Um, so base stat wise, I have 10 constitution. And I'm getting like, you know, modification from uh, Ghoul here that's boosting up a little bit. So I'm getting 11 constitution from that, which boosts this up to 21. And then maybe I'm getting um, 10 constitution from something else. But, anyway, but anyways, I actually think that talent should be based off the base stat for games because it's, it's a lot less abusable to use equipment to do that sort of thing that I just did there. Boost my stats all the way up so I can like just get whatever I want. Like having it based off, say, cunning, willpower, and magic here of like, you know, these stats, that sort of makes sense to me because um, that's basically how characters should be built, I think, but whatever. It's a it's a nitpick, basically. It, it's some, there's some games that do it like this, and that's fine, and uh, it's still playable. Just have to understand how to abuse it, so to speak. So no book benefit to spell or mental save on that little boost there, but next time we'll probably get it. And off we go to keep exploring a little bit. Yes, explore, explore. You know, I'm more of a moving quite fast here because uh, these guys have seen me going very slow. Uh, can I hit these guys? Yes, I can definitely get to these guys. Okay, this guy's a rare. He's a berserker with anti-magic disruption because that's fun. Um, let's go with this. Yes, as you can see, these guys can pummel me. He did disengage. Interesting. Let's keep pelting him. There's turn back to clock. Yep, they can fire these stuff. Hit you with this. Let's go. Staff. I'm in my rack, so I don't really care if this guy pelts me a little bit. Okay, he's out of the way. Our first item, so to speak, has been dropped. Okay, let's try and hit the... Ooh, look at this. Gravity Spike got a radius increase from my, that last town point. So now it's a bit bigger, so to speak. Okay, let's dr drag you over here. Go like that. Uh, he resists temporal 100%. I don't know why it didn't take so much damage from the Bone Spear. Maybe it's got a low roll on the Bone Spear there. Oh, it does uh, solid fizzle damage. I don't know why it got so weak there, but whatever. Let's go do that to him. And of course, he's sort of, you know, resistant to acid there. That's fun. Um. Doesn't look like I'm stunned or anything. I just need to wait a turn for Al to go away. You're dead. Let's see here. Ashes to ashes. This uh, stacking temple damage. So this won't hurt these guys. All right. There we go. We killed everything. In that little instance. Uh, it changes resistances to things that I don't really care about, so I won't really worry about it. Another rare, a berserker yet again. Hmm. Let's wretch back up. Chain Lightning for a double hit there. He did uh, Warsh, I think, and tried to confuse me, but I failed. Let's put this on just in case. I'm going to blast you with that. Blast you with this. And let's just pull these guys around. Kill the guy behind you. 
He's taking damage from the wreck as long as well as being in the um, path of my spells there. Okay, that's them out of the way. I got a cloak from him, and the cloak is again something that doesn't really interest me. Or does it? It's worth doing, I don't need to wear this anymore. This uh, cloak of deception, so that's not a bad thing to put on. It's not the greatest thing. This would be more of a, a Norfil or a Sun Paladin type of cloak to wear, I think. Alright, I can get to him if I walk around. Pull you a little bit. Zap. He's dead. Okay, there's someone coming for me, but... He's out of the way. Let's just explore around, and we're done. So there's the first area. I never really a big fan of this first area, but it is sort of thematic, sort of for like you know, running through to through time that low level for what it offers. Zap, zap, zap. No, you didn't die from that. We die from this. Zap, zap, zap. Hey, look at that. There's Ben. Rex. Uh, he sort of jumped there a little bit for some reason. He's, he's in there, obviously, but... Hit him with this. He's stunned. Let's do ashes to ashes. Let's do... Uh, Repulsion to knock him back a square two. He's still stunned, that's good. Do this. I think he slowed me there a little bit from the gloom, but whatever. He's confused now. Zap you with that. Let's do another. Oop, that didn't do anything to him. And why not? You know, he can jump around because he's cursed. They can do that. Oop, I'm confused. Put on a shield just in case. Zap you of that. And that. And there we go. Ben is dead. And I'm pinned. No longer pinned. Nope, neither of those interest me. Okay, we're done this little level. Very quick to Temple Rift. Hello, friend. He's out of the way. Uh, let's go with... Ooh! Rampha's right there! <clears throat> Drag him over there a little bit. Ooh, I got frozen there. Let's put the shield on. Um... I can't use that just yet, so... I wonder if I can wreck in this little small space. I'm not sure you can. Let's just go with... Uh, that... Ice block is at 66. After I make, she's hasting. Okay, there we go. We got that out of the way. And... Just do this. I'm going to drop in our shield, and we're going to do a confusion strike. That confused her. Do that. Let's do Rex. Ashes to ashes. Ouch, I took a bit of a hit there. Drop that on them. Ooh, I think uh, after I killed that Void Horror, it uh, jumped me over here. <clears throat> Dangerous. Let's go with this. Good thing is that these guys are close enough for my ashes to ashes to still hit them. Because you know ashes to ashes still works even 
after you leave the affected area where you started it. Ow. Alright, these guys are a little bit close. Let's uh, confuse them. And I want to get them all. Let's heal up a little bit. And why not? We got another Void Horror to say hello to. Let's go with Chain Lightning. I hit something else. And killed it. They keep coming out of the woodwork here. You're out of the way. And Paradox is now down to zero. Okay, there's definitely a couple things over there. Okay, something doesn't believe me. Must be a temple war um, temple stock over here in this little area. Let's drop that right there. There goes my shield. Rex. Ashes to ashes. Yeah, it's definitely. In there. He's been activated, this guy. You weren't dead yet, apparently. You will be soon, though. There we go. He's dead. Let's go with that. They're almost dead. Getting there. And they're out of the way. Couple of brawler hits there, but whatever. He's done. I guess I did kill Rantha, but. Honestly, I got, you know, teleported after I killed her. Whoops. Boom. You're dead. That guy's dead. He's stunned. Oh boy, they keep popping out, because you know. I love fighting these guys. Alright, I don't think I can get them both, sadly. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Stun them both. Go like that. Let's go with that to drag them away. He's out of the way. There we go. And another one pops out. Alright, time to fight the bosses. There's turn back the clock, I'll just dodge that. Let's go with lightning. I got confused here. Put on this. I'm gonna go with stun. They didn't get stunned. Let's uh, do that and hit them both. Hit them both. Hit them both. Hopefully. These guys are, of course, very resistant to temporals, so a lot of my stuff isn't going to hurt them as much. 
But I can't confuse him, so I'll do that. Go with this. Drop him around a little bit. Let's turn back to clock there, I think. Yep, yeah, turn back to clock is coming for me, but oh well, let's just let it hit me, I guess. They're actually trying to run away a little bit here. Uh, can I get them both? Yeah, there we go. Hit them both. I'm not sure what Entropic Field does, if it's protecting that one or not. He seems to be taking less damage, though, than this guy. Let's uh, drag him around a little bit. Not yet, not really close enough to him with uh, the confusion, so. Him with the staff, move away. Oh, got the shield from my jacket. Let's wreck. Seems like a good time to wreck. Hit with lightning. Nah, not gonna care about turning back the clock. Whoops, I just used stun on this one little guy. I meant to use them both. Oh well. And... Yeah, I'm tempted to put my shield, and I think I might, just to reduce the damage these guys are inflicting. Pull these guys up a little bit. Don't think I can get them both, sadly. Hit that guy. I'll confuse this one. Hello, I'm out in the water. Alright, I think uh, what I'm going to do here... ...is I'm going to leap... ...over here. This thing's hitting me quite hard, because you know, as happens. I'm going to... ...do that. You're almost dead. You're getting dead. Let's do this. He's almost dead. He is dead. Time is beginning to fray, because you know. Continu continuum distillation. The target has been affected by space or time distribution and is becoming more resistant to them. Or whatever. All right, so there we go. Okay, and the Runa Rift. A tough fight that was, I guess. Got quite a bit of stuff from them. <clears throat> Umbrophage. This gives darkness resistance. It gives cursed shouts as a doomed item. Obviously, it gives light radius five, and it can be used to release absorb darkness. Doesn't sound terrible, I guess. This is a cunning... This is a Wormick item. Not a terrible item, but I don't really need to melee stuff, or I don't melee stuff rather, so it's not really as useful to me. This gives me five cunning, or not cunning, con. I'll keep it just for that, but I'd probably get rid of it since, you know, I prefer to untouch to a lot of stuff. This really is a nice jacket. It's actually more powerful than it should be. Let's get rid of that immediately. Alright, so that's basically it for the Temple Rift. Let's go and um, either get myself killed or just show off this little thing here with the uh, cultists. So there's these cultists here. An elven cultist, he doesn't seem to mind you. He's unaligned, he's neutral, just, you know, sitting here doing nothing. They're scattered out and about all over the level. The 
Let's mind our own business for now. All right, let's see here. I'm going to attack this guy and show off what they're all about. So these guys, once you attack them, uh, you basically kill their bone shield, obviously. And then once their bone shield goes down, they get hostile. And they cast bone spear on me. Just keep going on them. This is too soon. The Kalsa's soul seems to be absorbed by the strange stone that he was guarding. You feel something's about to happen. A timer appears as soon as you kill one of them. And then if you go down here... You got these guys, they're still neutral, but once you start attacking them... I should probably be hitting them both there. Okay, his shield's gone. Bring it closer to these guys. Rex, ashes to ashes. As you can see, they're both getting hostile. This is too soon. Yeah, let's go down here, I guess. Rex, ashes to ashes. We hit them all. Uh, this guy's still here. Don't know where the other one went. Apparently still hitting them all. They must have gone invisible. The ritual is weakened. Let's do this. I think they're down here, so... This is too soon! Zap, zap. Let's pull this guy closer. Activate the shield. Zap. That's not gonna hit him, but I'll kill him. Is there any more? The timer should be ca counting down, so. Hmm. As you can see, this is like the first time I've seen this event. I've just seen it talked about in the forums. People not understanding what its purpose is, or more or less supposed to be, I guess. Uh, I'm a bit confused, actually. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with the destructive monolith. Oh, look at that, there's a guy here. He's just sitting here. Well, that was uneventful. I was hoping that you'd get to see some epic battle or something like that from doing the event, but oh well. That's, I guess, gonna be it, so to speak. As uneventful as it, you know, happens to be. Let's make a quick check around here. I'm just gonna check there's nothing else I'm missing. Well, I'm definitely seeing something interesting constantly. I wonder if there's like, you know, another model buried somewhere in like the back of 
these mountains somewhere. The question is though, where would it be buried if so? Usually Daikaris are pretty good about keeping stuff connected. So if you are trying to find everywhere, you're going to find it without, you know, having to dig around like this to find it. Oh well. I can't seem to find where, wherever it is that's supposed to happen from this event, so I'll say that's it. That's basically it for Daikara. So, we've done all the alternate dungeons, and all the second tier dungeons. All that's left is like the event dungeons, the uh, Volcanic Caldera and um, the Land of Poosh, so to speak. Or I can just march into Dreadfall. And seeing as how we're almost level 24, it's probably better to march into Dreadfall before doing anything. So we're just going to march into Dreadfall. And the plan will be next time I'll just start going through Dreadfall again. And if I get up to level 9, I will try and kill the Master. Interesting, a Sun Paladin. We'll see what happens next time. Take care.